Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to determine if a given solid figure is a polyhedron or not a polyhedron. We have here the definition of a polyhedron. The plural for polyhedron could either be polyhedra or polyhedrons. They're just the same. So polyhedron is a three-dimensional shape with flat polygonal faces, straight edges, and sharp corners or vertices. So in the picture that we have here, this line, or I mean, let's start with this corner right here. So each of these corners here, so there's like um, eight of them. So these corners, we call these corners as vertex. So the plural for that would be vertices. So that's the vertex, the corner. Second part is this line. So this line that connects from one vertex to the other vertex is called the edge. So that's the edge. And then the flat surface. So this flat surface that we have here that serves as the covering for this solid is, so I'm just gonna label this as the, the, uh, the, the flat surface that's in here, the inside part. We call this as our face. So these are the three parts. First is the face. The face is the flat surface. The vertex is the corner where the edges are intersecting. The edge is the line that makes up, uh, th that meets, um, the, the end points of the edges are actually the vertices. So that's the edge right there. So uh, these are the conditions in order that we can tell that a given solid figure is a polyhedron or not. First, it has to have a polygonal face. And then the second condition is that it has to have a straight edge. Okay, so let's have an example to better see, um, we can determine if the figure is a uh, polyhedron or not. Let's take this first example right here. So we have three solid figures here. So the first thing that we need to do is to determine, um, is this a polyhedron or not a polyhedron? Now, how many faces does it, does it have? How many vertices does it have? How many edges does it have? So let's start with the first one. So again, the first condition is that it should be made of straight um, edges, and it is, so we can call this as a polyhedron. So the first one that we have here is a polyhedron. Now let's count the number of faces. Faces refers to the flat surface that serves as the covering for the solid. So in this picture that we have here, we have one face in the front, one face at the back, one face on the right, one face on the left, and one face at the bottom. So the total for um, the number of faces here would be five. So there are five faces for this. Now let's look at the vertices. Again, vertices refers to the corners. So this corners right here. So we're going to count them. So there's one on the tip and there's going to be four at the bottom. So there's a total of five vertices. And then the edges, the edges refers to the line that connects from one vertex to the other vertex. So if we count the number of vertices here, the one that are connected to the uh, tip here would be one, two, three, and four. And then at the bottom, five, six, seven, and eight. So there are eight edges for this. Now let's move on to the next one here. In this next problem, this is not a polyhedron. Not a polyhedron. Again, the reason for this is it is not made up of a straight edge. So this is not a straight edge. So we just leave this blank. So we're not going to fill this up if it's not a polyhedron. Let's take the third one here. So in this picture, we can we can tell that this is a polyhedron, and then we count the number of faces. Again, the faces refers to the uh, flat surface that is considered as the covering of this figure. So we get one on top, one at the bottom, one in front, one on the right, and one on the left. So the total would be one, two, one, two, three. So two plus three is Five. So there are five faces for this polyhedron. And then we look at the vertices. Again, vertices refers to the um, corners. So let's count the number of corners we have here. So three on top and then three at the bottom. So that would be six vertices. Then let's count the edges. Edges refers to the line segment that connects one vertex to the other. So on top here, we have one, two, and three. And then there's one at the back. That's four, five, and six, seven, eight, and nine. So there are nine edges for this. 
At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So the first one right here is not a polyhedron. So the reason for this is um, it, it is that's not a polyhedron. Um, so this is not a polyhedron. The reason for this is um, there it's not made up of straight edge. So that's not a polyhedron. So we just leave this blank. Okay, and the next one right here, we have uh, this is a polyhedron because all of the edges are um, straight lines. So this is a polyhedron. Now let's count the number of faces. Faces refers to the uh, flat surface that is the covering. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then one at the bottom. So there are six faces for this. For the vertices, that refers to the um, corners. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six vertices. For the edges, edges refers to the line that connects the vertex to the other vertex. So we have the tip here, we count those verti uh, those uh, um, edges that are connected to the tip. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So there's five that are connected to the tip. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten edges for this polyhedron. Now let's move on to the next one here. This is not a polyhedron, so I'm gonna write not a polyhedron. The reason for this is there is this curve right here, so it's not a straight edge, and so we leave this blank. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!